Hi everyone. Today we are going to make our very own colour wheel. This will help us with our painting. It will help us understand how to mix colours and how to understand colour theory in general. So what you're going to need today are the following. Okay, so two different size plates. The bigger one should fit on your visual arts diary. You'll need a smaller one as well. You'll need your visual arts diary. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, and a ruler. Okay, so let's begin. Firstly, we're going to trace a circle using the big plate. So we're going to use a pencil for this and um, we're going to work quite lightly because at some point we're going to rub out some of our lines. Now we're going to carefully place the other circle in the middle like so and we're going to trace around that so that we've got a ring. We're actually going to make a blended colour wheel. So, next step, we need to separate um, the ring into 12 sections. So, you're going to put in all your primary, your secondary and also your tertiary colours. Tertiary colours, in case you've forgotten, are colours that are in between colours. So for instance, red-orange is a tertiary colour because it's somewhere between red and orange. And a blended colour wheel is a perfect way to achieve that. So what we're going to do is section off our page into four. I'm just going to kind of locate the centre of my circle. I think it's about there and I'm going to use that as a guideline and I'm just going to draw a horizontal and a vertical line. Okay, so now I have four sections and a little bit of maths here. We need to divide each of those four sections into three. So I'm just going to use my eye to do this and I'm going to use that center point to line up my ruler against so that I have a neat circle or rather neat division. So I'd say, uh, let's see one, that's about, if I draw some very light lines, I can sort of estimate how much I need to segment off. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to just draw my lines. I'm going to draw them lightly. I'm not going to draw them dark. Okay. I think there. So I'm going to go through the middle again. Actually, I might just put it there. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do the same to the other side. Just draw some light lines. Make sure I go through the center. I'm not being perfect, but you get the idea. And then finally, I'd say through here. Okay. And there we go. I have now got the basis of my colour wheel. I am going to now use my eraser to get rid of these lines here because I don't really want those. I'm going to do something else with that. So just get rid of that. Right. I'm going to very lightly write in each colour. So this is the colour wheel here, as you can see. I've got red. So if I hold it up, I've got red, red, orange, orange, 
yellow orange, yellow, yellow green, so on and so forth. So I'm going to write that in very lightly. I'm going to start with red up the top. Don't do it too, um, don't do it too uh, dark. I'll just put RO for red orange and then orange, then orange, yellow, 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 oops, yellow, green, 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 blue, 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 violet, violet, and red, violet. And that's going to guide me. Okay, so the next step is to actually dissect this inner circle into three areas, three equal segments. And that is where we're going to put our primary colours. So what you need to do is put your centre dot back in, the one that you probably rubbed out. And for your first segment, you're going to encompass all the reds. So the violet red, the red, the red orange, and the orange. Okay, so we're going to put four segments, or four areas into that segment rather. So I'm just going to draw a line from the red violet, and I'm going to include four sections. One, two, three, four, and then I'm going to draw a line there. Okay, so our next primary colour is yellow. So we need to put our yellow orange or orange yellow, our yellow, our yellow green, and our green, because green actually does have yellow in it. So I'm just going to draw a line from the green to the centre. And there we have our three equal segments. And this, of course, is where our blue will go. Our blue-green, our blue, our blue-violet, and our violet. Okay, so give that a go. I might just write in my primaries. So that's my red. This is my yellow section. And this is my blue section. Next video, I'm going to actually explain which blue out of your art kit is the real primary blue which is the real primary red and which is the real primary yellow. So don't paint anything until you've watched that video. Great, thanks. Bye now.